Hi guys, my name is Jerl and in this video, I will show you how to set up your Visual Studio Code for Dart programming. By the end of this video, you will be able to write Dart code in your local Windows machine. To begin with, let's discuss what's inside the Dart SDK. The Dart SDK includes a lib directory for Dart libraries, and it also includes a bin directory that has these command line tools. So let's head over to the Dart website and read the installation instructions. So the first thing that you will notice is that it requires us and a chocolatey package manager. To check if you have the chocolatey package manager, Open your command prompt and run it as an administrator. You may type in Choco to see if it's installed. And as you can see, it's not installed in my machine. Now, let's head over to Chocolatey's website. and search for the install instructions. Here, you will find the following command. Just copy the following command and paste it in your command prompt, like so. After that, press enter. Now that the Chocolatey uh, Package Manager is installed, let's head over to the Dart SDK webpage and let's search for the command in order to install the Dart SDK. I'll just copy this command and again paste it in the command prompt. I will just press Y in order to run the rest of the script and the installation will be completed. And that's it. So we now have the Dart SDK. Now, if you do not have the Visual Studio installed yet, you could just head over to Visual Studio Code's website and check for the installation instructions. So in code.visualstudio.com slash download, you could select your respective uh, machine uh, installer and here since i'm using windows i can click this and before i created this video i've already downloaded the installer for visual studio code and so i will just simply open this i will accept the agreement and click next i will click next again and click install And it's already extracting the files. And that's it. Click finish. We now have the Visual Studio Code installed. Since I've already installed this Visual Studio Code before, you will notice that in the extension section, 
I already have a couple of extensions. Now, let's just search for Dart extension. This extension enables the users to have the capability to support the Dart language and it also enables this Visual Studio code to debug your Dart code. If I click install, it will just load up and I could simply reopen this later on. So now let's clear all. And now I will create a new folder. I will call this Dart Test. Now let's see if the Dart SDK and the Visual Studio Code uh, is working. So I will uh, click, uh, right click on my mouse and then select open with code. And now it will open the new folder that I created. Inside this Dart underscore test folder, I will create a new folder called bin. And I will also create a new file inside it. And I will name this as main.dart file. So this main.dart file will be our starting point for our Dart program. Now the reason I created a bin folder and the main.dart file is that when I click the debug section in the configuration you will notice that by default, uh, Dart is expecting uh, for us to have a bin folder in a main.dart file. And so I will head over or go back to my main.dart file and I will try to write a simple code. So I'll, I will create a void main function and I will just simply print hello dart like so and I will uh, click control s and then I will click this play button to start the debugging process and I think it's working hello dart is shown in the debug console and that's it so thank you for watching this video if you like this video you may click the like button and you may also subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos about flutter and dart development